Hello everyone, welcome back to Atreyu Crochet. So I was thinking that it is spring, uh, summer will be here before you know it, and it would be cool to create a bucket hat. So that's what we're going to be making in today's video. The things you will need include a size I, 5mm, and that is US, crochet hook, a darning weaving tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, and two skeins of yarn this is size medium four and this is by Bernat. I'm using Peacock and this uh, Till Heather. You might notice these two colors if you watched last week's or it wasn't last week but if you watched the last video okay. So yeah let's just get started. Alright, so I have a personal goal of trying to make my videos a little bit shorter. I tend to give so much detail that they end up being extremely long. So I'm trying to find the balance between still giving the sufficient amount of detail but not making them too long. Let's see how I do with this video today. Alright, so you're going to start out with a slip knot. Wrap over your finger, twist exchange, pull that over. And now we're going to pull this over that and off the finger while lifting up like that. Insert our crochet hook. Remember this is size I 5.5 millimeter US crochet hook. Now we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. All right, now we're gonna go back into that first chain that we made, that one chain, and we're gonna put a double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, enter, that first chain, you can get one or two loops, I like to get two, yarn over, pull through to the front, and you will have three loops, yarn over, go through two, one, two, yarn over, go through two, one, two. All right, we're gonna go back into that first chain and create another double crochet, yarn over, re-enter that chain, yarn over, pull through to the front, three loops, yarn over, go through two, one, two, yarn over, go through two, one, two. All right, we've created two double crochets into that one chain. I want you to continue such that you have 10 double crochets in that first chain. So let's make the third one. Re-enter the chain, pull through to the front, three loops, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. That's three, back in there. That one, that very first chain. All right, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, okay? That is four double crochets that I've made in that chain. I will meet you once I get all 10 double crochets made. See you there. All right, I have all 10 double crochets made, and if you're wondering, that chain three that was created at the beginning, I'm not counting that. And I know that I normally do in my patterns, but in today's pattern, I'm not counting it. So. To slip stitch to join, we're going to skip that chain three and go to this first double crochet there. Okay, remember we crocheted 10 double crochets, and remember that chain three does not count as one of those tens. And to further ignore that chain three, we're going to bypass it and slip stitch into the top of the actual first double crochet there, like that. Okay, yarn over and just pull all the way through. And then you can tighten it. All right, that was round one, which has 10 stitches because we're not counting the chain three. Now we're gonna chain two, one, two. And for this round, we're gonna put two stitches in every stitch below, okay? So that by the end of this round, round two, we should have 20 stitches. So remember this chain two, we don't count it as a stitch. But we will go into the same place where we just slip stitched because we slip stitched into that first double crochet there. And we're going to put two stitches in there because every stitch is going to get two stitches. Yarn over and re-enter the stitch like that. Two. Okay. Next stitch, which is there, we'll get two. Yarn over, enter make a double crochet, yarn over, re-enter that same stitch for the second double crochet. Continue putting two stitches in every double crochet around and I'll meet you back there. All right, I am back around and I've crocheted two double crochets in every 
stitch around so now I have 20 stitches and don't count that stitch remember that chain 2 it's not a stitch that we're counting okay so now it's time to start round 3 we're going to skip that chain 2 and slip stitch into the double crochet that's right after it so yarn over and pull all the way through like that okay starting round 3 we're going to chain 2 1 2 and now the pattern will be one, two, okay? So that means that this next stitch will get one. So the first double crochet there will get one. And that happens to be exactly where we slip stitched into. And then the next stitch will get two. So create a double crochet and then yarn over, go back in there for the second double crochet, okay? And so you can see that first double crochet got one, the second double crochet got two. Now the pattern repeats. The next double crochet will get one, and the next one right there will get two. Okay, so continue in that pattern and I'll meet you there. All right, as you can see, I've made it back around and I also ended on the two, as you will you should end on the two. If you don't end on the two, then that means you made a mistake somewhere around, okay? And when I say end on the two, that means if the pattern is one, two, that last stitch will get the two. All right, so now we are going to start round four by, as always, skipping that chain two. We're gonna act like it's not there, and we're gonna slip stitch into the double crochet right after. Yarn over, pull all the way through. Okay, so round one had 10 stitches, round two had 20, round three that we just completed had 30, and now we're going to start round four, which will have 40. So chain two, and now the pattern is one, one, two. So right where we slip stitched into the top of that first double crochet, remember skipping that chain two, it doesn't count. This is the first stitch. We're going to go in there and put our one. Okay, now we're going to go to the next stitch and put our one. And now we're going to go into the third stitch and put our two. Remember the pattern is one, one, two. Yarn over, go back in there for the two. One more time, I'll show you. Next stitch, one. Next stitch, one. And next stitch, two back in there for the two. Okay? One, one, two, one, one, two. Continue in that manner and I will meet you once we get back around here to the last stitch, which remember should always end on the two. See you there. All right, I'm done. I ended on the two. Now it's time to start round five. So I'll bypass the chain two, slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet all the way through, chain two, one, two, and now I'll start round five. Now the pattern is one, 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 two. So three ones and then a two. So our first double crochet will go into the same place where we slip stitch, the top of that first double crochet. So that's one, next stitch, one, next stitch, one, and next stitch, two. Yarn over back in there for two. Okay, one, 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 two. Continue in this fashion and I will meet you once we get back around there. Of course, ending on the two. See you there. All right, I just completed round five, ending on the two. Round five, you should have a total of 50 stitches and now we're gonna slip stitch. Bypassing that chain to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. And now we're gonna chain two, one, two, and now the pattern will be four ones and then two, okay? So one, 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 and then two. So I'll put my first double crochet into the same place where I slip stitch. That's one, next stitch, one, next stitch, one, next stitch, one. Those are my four ones, one, two, three, four, and then the next stitch will get two. One back in there for two continue in that pattern, four ones and two, all the way back around and I will see you there.
And by the way, you guys can slow the video down if I'm moving too fast. All right, so I have my circle big enough to fit over my head. All right, depending on, you know, the size crochet hook that you're using and even the size yarn that you're using, if you choose not to use medium four, um, you may not need to do as many rounds. Um, or you may need to do more it just all depends okay and also on your tension but the point is this circle is big enough to fit the top of my head okay this is the part of the bucket hat that will fit on the top of your head and now we're gonna start to work the rows that go kinda down the side of your head okay so if you need a bigger circle then continue on with another round just following that same pattern that we've been using for the increase rounds. This last round we did four ones, one, two, three, four, and then two. So if you want further, the next one would be five ones and then a two and so on, okay? If your circle is big enough, then follow me. So what we will do is we will slip stitch into that first double crochet like we always have been. All right, now we're going to bring in that other color Hook it on, pull through, flip this over, and we're gonna pull on the first color to make that loop small. All right, and then we'll pull down on the new color too. And we're gonna tie a couple of knots between these two. So one, and then two. Okay. Now we're gonna cut the former color, the old color. I like to kind of make these of a comparable length so that when I'm crocheting over them, they kind of end at roughly the same time. All right, so now I have my new color in place, the second color, and I'm going to chain two like I always have been, one, two. All right, so all of these previous rounds, round one, two, three, four, five, six, they were increase rounds. At this point, we're not doing an increase round, okay? We are just maintaining the 60 stitches that we have okay so we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch but for this round we're going to be working only in the back loops okay this is the only round where we're going to only work in the back loops so we'll yarn over and here's the top of the stitch that's the front loop that one back there's the back loop that's where we're going to go in to that back loop i want to crochet over these tails so i don't have to weave them in later okay so i just lay them on top and then i yarn over and pull through to the front and i have my normal three loops yarn over go through two yarn over go through two okay next stitch yarn over go into the this is the front go into the back loop like that put my tails on top yarn over pull through to the front and make a double crochet okay yarn over go into the back loop Put my tails on top, yarn over, pull through to the front, and just continue making double crochets like that. Going into the back loops, you don't have to crochet over these tails, but I hate weaving in tails at the end, so I try to avoid it having to do it whenever I can, okay? But this is what it looks like. So just continue putting one double crochet into the back loop of every stitch around, and I will meet you once we get back to the beginning. See you there. All right, you will notice that it's starting to curve because we did not increase. So we'll bypass the chain two as we always do and slip stitch into the first double crochet. Now we're gonna chain two and we're going to do six more rows, but we're gonna be working into the top stitch. You will see how working into that back loop made that ridge Okay, but this time we're going to work into the entire top. So yarn over, putting one double crochet in every stitch. So this first one is right there. So we'll go into the same place where we went in to slip stitch and create a double crochet. And then next stitch, top loop. So next stitch, we're using the whole top, you see? Not the back loop anymore, the whole top. All right. And we'll just continue putting one double crochet in every stitch around. I will meet you after I complete six rows just like this one. So you should have a total of seven 
rounds, sorry, I said rows, I meant rounds, you should have a total of seven rounds in this new color, okay? I will see you there. All right, so I did six more rounds and now I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rounds in that second color. So now we're going to switch back to the former color by slip stitching into the double crochet there, the top of it, like that. Yarn over, pull all the way through. And now we're going to bring in the first color, hook it onto the crochet hook, pull through. All right, flip this over, and now we will pull on the current color and on the former color and tie a couple of knots like this. One and then two. We will cut that second color and we'll come back to that color one more time before we're all done. Okay, but right now we're working with our first color. Alright, so we want to chain two, one, two. All right, so we have six more rounds and then we will be all done, you guys, okay? The odd rounds from here on out will be increased rounds, okay? So the first, third, and fifth rounds will be increased rounds. The second, fourth, and sixth rounds will be not increased So you'll see what I mean. So since this is an even number we're starting over one okay the first round all right so you might be wondering well how do I know how much I'm going to increase well the, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our previous increase round which happened to be in that same color that same first color and we're going to pick up from there okay so if you will remember and if you guys followed what I was doing exactly as I was doing it this is that chain two, okay? And then I had one, 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 and then two. So I did four ones and then a two. One, 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 two, okay? You might have needed to make your circle bigger. So you might have gone to five ones and then two, or you may have needed to make your circle smaller to fit the head of the person that you're making this bucket hat for and only done one, 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 two. So three ones, then two. That being said, I went to four ones and then two. So that means that this round here, I'm gonna do what comes after four, five. Five ones and then two. But for this round only, I'm gonna be working in the front loops. We have the front loops and the back loops. This time I'm gonna be working in the front loops, okay? So I'm gonna crochet over these two tails as I always try to do. All right, and then yarn over for the double crochet, go through only the front loop. See, that's the back loop there. I'm going through the front loop, putting those tails on top, and I'm crocheting, yarning over, pulling it through the front, three loops, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Continue on. And this is a increase round, so remember, I'm doing five ones and then I will increase on that sixth stitch. So that's one. Next one, front loop only. There's the whole top, but I'm only going in the front loop like that, putting my tails on top so I can crochet over them, yarning over, pulling through to the front and creating a double crochet. Okay, next one. This is the third one. Crocheting over the tails, okay. All right, now I'm all done with the tails. This is the fourth one, four, Next stitch, front loop only, see, five. And now that I have my five ones, one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna do my two, still only going through that front loop. One, and then back in there for two, okay? I'll do one more. One, next one, two, Next one, three. Next one, four. Last one, five. And then in that sixth one, I'm gonna 
put two in there. Back in there, same front loop for two, okay? You should end on the two and just continue with five ones or how many ever ones you have before you do your two and then I will meet you back here. Okay, I've made my way back around ending on the two. Make sure you guys don't forget that very first double crochet at the beginning there, okay? All right, so that was the only round where I'm working in the front loop only. So I'm moving on to, I remember I started the round numbers over. This was round one. So I'm starting round two again. And I'm gonna slip stitch into the double crochet there. And remember the even number rounds, this is round two. The even number rounds are not increase rounds, okay? So I'm gonna chain two, one, two, and then just put one double crochet in every stitch below, working in the entire whole stitch. Okay, not the front loop, not the back loop, but the entire top of the stitch. So one, next one, one, next one, remember, entire stitch. Okay? And the rest of the rounds will work in the entire stitch. I will meet you back around here. One stitch in every stitch below. I've made it back around, putting one double crochet in every double crochet below. So now I'm going to skip the chain two as always, slip stitch into the first double crochet of that round and chain two, one, two. Now I'm starting the third round. Remember, odd rounds are increased rounds. Now you might be wondering, how much am I going to increase? Well, think about the last time you increased and what did you do? I went to this one. I'm going to the round one, one, two, three, four, five, two. Okay, so five ones and then two. That means for this increase round, I'm gonna go six ones and then two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and now for the next one, I'm gonna put two. One back in there for two. Okay, and that's the pattern. Yours might have fewer or more ones. As I said, it depends on how large you made the initial circle, but just always pick up where you left off, okay, from your previous increase round. I will meet you back around here, ending on the two, you guys. Moving on to round four. So stitch into that first double crochet, chain two, and then round four will be just like round two was, one double crochet and every stitch around. I will see you there. Moving on to the fifth round, which remember is an increase round. I'm gonna slip stitch into that first double crochet, chain two, one, two, and then I have the pattern of seven ones and then a two now. So one, next stitch two, next stitch three, next stitch four, Next stitch five, next stitch six, next stitch seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now next stitch two. That's my pattern. And it might be yours. <laughs> Continue in this fashion, ending on the two, and I will see you there. All right, so your bucket hat should start to have that Darth Vader look. <laughs> All right, and so to finish this up, and I did end on the two, I am going to skip the chain two as always, slip stitch into the first double crochet, yarn over, and pull all the way through. All right, now I am going to yarn over, chain one, cut my yarn, and then fasten off. All right, now I'm going to stick my crochet hook right in there. I'm gonna hook on, I told you guys I was gonna come back to this color. <laughs> hook this on, pull through like that, and then chain one, all right? And now I'm just gonna slip stitch all around round five, okay? And the tops of these stitches, so. I just chained one in there. I'm gonna slip stitch into the next stitch like that. Yarn over, pull all the way through. 
next one and I want to keep these nice and loose and I want to do my best to make sure my tension is consistent so that the chains are roughly the same size going around okay so you see that it will create that I will meet you once we get back around here see you there so I've obviously put my slip stitch into the last double crochet around but you see how there's a gap because there's a gap and I don't want there to be a gap I'm going to go over and make another slip stitch like that okay and I can go over even one more and make another slip stitch just so it connects all right now I'm going to chain one cut my yarn again and fasten off now you see how that loop right there it's kind of loose that's I can tighten that by pulling on this tail there on the back side so I'm going to tug on it a little bit so that it kind of tightens and fits in with the rest of the chains and then I'm going to tie a couple of knots between that tail and this other tail right there okay and then as far as this is concerned I'm going to bring this on the inside so you can use the same hook I'm going to use a smaller one it would look better if I even came through that stitch so I'll hook it on there and then pull through to the back like that okay all right so the last thing to do is simply to weave in these tails I'll show you one example so feed this onto my darning weaving tapestry needle and just go through some stitches in one direction like that all right and then go take a slightly different path going back in the other direction through stitches of that same color yarn and if you lose the yarn, it's not a big deal. Just put it back through the eye of your needle. Like that. Okay. And continue with what you're doing. Okay. And then you can cut that down. Okay. So I'm going to finish weaving these in. Also, if you're wondering what to do with these tails, here you can since you don't you did slip stitches right so you might be wondering where can I weave it in so that it doesn't show what you can do is weave in through the back loops so see how that blue is there or the tail just kind of go through those loops like that and pull it through Okay, and then you can go back in the other direction, just kind of weaving it, just to weave them in through the other direction a little bit. But then doing it that way will not affect the look on the outside, you see? Okay, and now I can cut this down. All right, so let me weave in this last tail and then I will show you the finished product. All right, you guys, so this is what your bucket hat should look like. And I absolutely love it. It's just so nice, okay? I'll try to include a picture of it on me with me wearing it, okay? But yeah, this is how you make a very easy bucket hat. You guys have to try this, especially with summer coming. Block some of that sun out of your faces, okay? All right, that is going to be it for this video, but you know I will see you in the next one. In the meantime, happy crocheting.